Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm back out at Lighthouse Park today. Those of you who will have seen my last video, who remember us being here and it was covered in snow and it was absolutely beautiful that day. A really memorable day and I was pleased with the images that I managed to capture that day. So I've came here today, got up nice and early, made my way through the forest. I'm at a viewpoint here just overlooking the city. I was hoping for a, a nice sunrise, but this morning we didn't have a lot of cloud in the sky to catch that light, uh, but it's still beautiful all the same. Now, as the day goes on, it's supposed to get a lot more overcast and guess what? It's planned to rain all day tomorrow. So I'm going to make the most of today and see what we can come across. Now, when I was here last time, I didn't manage to capture many images in the forest. And the reason for that was it was really chaotic because the snow was only light in the forest itself. You could see all the foliage behind the snow and it made it quite chaotic and hard to come across images. And it was nice just to check out the coast as well. The coastline made for better shots because there was more snow. You know, we had a lot more snow covered in on the rocks and down by the coast there. So those images I was really pleased with, but just lovely to be back out. A nice view of the city waking up. The sun hasn't just quite came up yet, uh, but I'm going to venture around here today and see what we can come across. I was attracted to the Arbutus trees last time I was here. So there's plenty in this area. You know, I've been here a few times and there's quite a few Arbutus trees in the area. So that's what I'm going to look for today. And obviously, We'll venture down this coast. We'll get to see a bit of wildlife today. There's a lot of bald eagles here. There's a lot of seals, sea otters. Uh, so it's a great area to come to. So in and out the forest I've been, enjoying this beautiful morning. I've came back out onto the coast. The tide looks like it's going out, so we're safe on this area for now. Now, when I came out onto the rocks, I looked up onto the shoreline, the trees behind us, and I've came across some really nice Arbutus trees that you can see behind us there. They really are nice, and what makes it, there's so many variations in colour variations in trees the lights nice and diffused we have got a lot of high cloud now uh, but it's diffusing that light so it's really nice and balanced on the area where i want to photograph it looks like a bit of a dead tree to the left hand side then you've got the arbutus and then you've got this pine fern i think it is with some more arbutus coming out the right hand side now if you look in the center it really does reveal those barks of the trunks and that's one I want to capture. Uh, I want to capture those orange vibrant colours. 
Now I've put the polarizer on just to darken that background a little bit more. Now because of the contrasting colour with these arbutus trees, they're really going to stand out against that background, even though we haven't got fog or mist or those conditions that we all love for this type of photography. I think it will really work as an image. So the idea I've got, I'm going to do a couple of variations actually, but the first one I'm going to go for is a pano. I want a pano shot from left to right of these trunks of these trees. I think it will make a really nice image. What a beautiful find, just the way they reach up. I might try a square crop and include the full area. Uh, I've made sure that the separation in between the trees is kind of equal because you don't want any large uh, gaps in between the trees. You've got to try and make them as equal as you can. Now we haven't got any breeze, there isn't no wind in here so I don't have to worry about shutter speed. I'm going to be taking it with the 1 to 400 at 100 mil capturing the section of these trees. Now I'm going to be shooting at f14 focusing directly on the first tree and then that gets the rest in focus and the rest are just the background's just going to drop off and I've managed to get it nice and dark because we haven't got any bright sunlight coming in at the moment and we'll see how it works out but what a beautiful morning it really is. Going to spend my time a bit further up this coastline see if we can come across any more images but what a wonderful day. Absolute beautiful morning, really enjoying myself. We've got some sunlight there, but it's being diffused by that high cloud still. Now in the distance behind camera there, we have got a weather front coming in. There is a lot of cloud coming this way, uh, but hopefully we can carry on and get a couple of more images. Now as this tide's been going out, it's been revealing all these beautiful rocks, textures, colors, and they really are nice and it leads all the way up the coastline you get oranges and yellows and browns all different variants now because the tide has gone out it's revealed these rocks on the shoreline behind us really nice full of texture and full of different shapes and colors uh, but the top of the composition that I'm looking at it's all chalky and white and then in the center you've got all these shapes and they're like an orangey brown color 
and it really does look colourful so I think it'll make a nice abstract image so that's what I'm going to shoot. Now I'm going to put the polarizer on just to make that colour a little bit more vibrant. Um, it has started to dry off so we haven't got any sheen on the rocks. I'm going in with the 1 to 400 f16 and we'll see how it works out. Just got a seagull shouting its head off in front of us there. Uh, but I really like the shot that I'm looking at. I'm either thinking a pano or maybe a square crop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it in lands landscape and I am going to shoot it in portrait and then I can decide which shot I like when I get back. Hopefully we'll beat this cloud that's coming my way and make our way a bit further up. Well, I made my way in from the coast there. I went up to Juniper Point. You'll have probably seen that. I went up to the viewpoint on the cliff side there, and it was beautiful. We had a lot of haze over the ocean, so you couldn't see Vancouver Island in the background, which was great for the shot that he had in mind. You'll remember in my last video, there was a tree that I photographed, and I made an abstract image of it, and it was really nice. I was really pleased with the way it came out. It just spread it out across the, the frame and it looked like veins. I was really interested in looking at it again today. So I went up to Juniper Point. Now the problem was there was a lot of people up there. There was a lot of dogs up there barking. So every time I tried to do a piece to camera, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't concentrate long enough. Uh, so I thought I'd explain that composition to you now. Now we had this blank canvas. I've said to you before about creating a blank canvas if you, if you can to give you subject separation from the background now because we had this haze this tree really stood out now there's a tree next to it as well so i wanted to incorporate that tree into the shot today so i filled the frame with these branches that looked like veins so the branches are nice and dark so they really stand out and then the background's nice and white so i'm hopeful that it's turned out i put the one to 400 on shot at 100 mil uh, it was getting 250th of a second. Now there was a bit of breeze up there, so that's great because it stopped any of the leaves moving that were in the tree because there was leaves on the left-hand side of the image. Uh, so just have to wait to see what it's like when I get back home. But I've had an absolute brilliant day out. It has been a challenge, but luckily because of this haze we've had today, it's allowed us to get some images. So I'm going to head back to Vancouver now. It's a lot later in the afternoon. I've had a brilliant day out, so it's time to call it a day. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I really have enjoyed bringing you along, showing you more of Lighthouse Park without the snow. And I plan to come back here in the future when we do get some atmospheric conditions, a bit of fog, a bit of mist coming in off the ocean would be nice. In the forest itself, it's been quite hard. It's been quite chaotic because we've got a lot of deadfall. It has been winter time. We have had snow, we've had a lot of rain. 
um, so that you can see behind it's, it's just messy everywhere that you look really so that's why I went back onto the coast again you get a bit more separation between subjects that you photograph and now we're not going to get a sunset today because there's a ton of cloud over on the west there we've still got that haze over the ocean so that's why I've decided to call it a day so if you've enjoyed today's video please give the video a thumbs up it helps my channel out a lot and it encourages to bring you more videos it really does if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button i'll get to show you more locations here in british columbia but i've had an absolute wonderful day out leave a comment below i love to hear your comments let us know what you thought of the images let us know what you thought of my video and don't forget to look at my other videos as well from me and lighthouse park until next time thanks for watching bye bye